Yeah, so in frontline CLL, there are a lot of trials being done right now with time-limited therapy where you give treatment for one to two years and then you stop therapy for these patients. And one of the major early objectives is to assess the rates of MRD negative remission in the blood or bone marrow. And with the, with the understanding that this will eventually, patients who have high rates of MRD early on, will lead to eventually better progression-free survival for these patients. So uh, several trials have been done in the context of CLL. Um, so the first trial, the time-limited trial, was what is called the CLL-14 study, which was a combination of venetoclax plus obinutuzumab for one year. And that showed high rates of MRD negative remission, uh, about 57% in the bone marrow, and about 75% in the blood for these patients. And since then, several other trials have now been reported um, in, in uh, publications or at ASH meetings where uh, investigators, including ourselves, have looked at the combination of venetoclax plus ibrutinib for these patients. And, um, and we also showed that very high rates of MRD remission, both in the blood and bone marrow for these patients. Um, Captivate study also looked at ibrutinib plus venetoclax combination, similarly showing high rates of MRD in both blood and bone marrow. And then more recently, in the last you know, couple of years, we have now triplet combinations where you're using ibrutinib or acalabrutinib or zanabrutinib, one of the BTK inhibitors, and then you're combining them with venetoclax plus obinutuzumab. And those investigators have also now reported, again, high rates of MRD negative remission for these patients um, in the blood as well as the bone marrow. So I guess the big question for the CLL field is right now is can we pick one of our best regimens uh, based on these trials which have now in the public domain and my impression overall is that all these trials are leading to high rates of MRD negative remission. And eventually, I think it's very difficult to tease out from cross trial comparisons. And we also obviously have to look at the toxicities of these regimens when you combine multiple drugs together. So overall, I think we really have to wait for phase three trials to be reported uh, to better get an understanding of doublet versus triplet. And also, I think I'm myself looking for long-term follow-up data progression fee survival for four to five years with these regimens to try to see if there is a, a subset of patients where maybe one regimen may be better than the other. So, I mean, I guess overall the field of CLL continues to evolve. And uh, I think we, as I described, we are getting some now good sense of MRD negative rates among different regimens. But again, the time will tell if one regimen is better than the other.